Hi, this is Pragati and in this video today, I am going to discuss how to find a topic for your PhD research proposal. For the people who are new to my channel, I am a 4th year PhD student at IIM Bangalore and I don't think I am in a position yet to answer how to find a good topic for your PhD but uh, till I myself complete my PhD but since I have received multiple requests for this video, I think I can help you guys by providing some hints on how to go about finding a topic for your PhD. Okay, so first of all, you have to choose your broad area of research. For example, if you want to do a PhD in economics, then you have to choose whether you want to work in microeconomics or macroeconomics. If you choose microeconomics, then you have to choose that within microeconomics, which area you want to work on, be it behavior economics, health economics, education economics, or say um, environment economics, there are so many areas within microeconomics. Now, suppose you choose health economics, then health economics in itself is also very vast. You have to choose whether you want to work on the demand side or the supply side. If you choose the demand side, then you have to choose whether you want to work on the demand for healthcare or the demand for health insurance or the demand for health, be it maternal health or child health, etc. Once you choose your topic, you have to find the literature in that area. You have to see what kind of studies are available in that area and what, what kind of work is going on in that area. If you don't have any idea about what, what kind of research categories are there and where to begin from, then one solution is to visit the NBER website. Under this tab, you can see what kind of categories are available in research and in the working papers section, you can see what kind of topics people are working on currently. This will also help you find out if someone else is working on a research question that you had thought about. And if you find such a paper, then please drop the idea of working on that research question because that other person has already done a lot of work on it and he or she will publish before you and your paper will then become redundant. If you want to see what kind of research has already been published on your topic, then you go to Google Scholar. You can type your topic here and check the results. You can use a number of filters here such as you can see which are the most recent studies. You can also use some tricks to find the topic such as if you put double inverted commas on a phrase then it will show you the results which contain that phrase. You can check other Google Scholar tricks online. If you plan your PhD during your masters then you can choose your elective courses depending upon your area of interest. This will help you get some understanding of the literature on that topic and if in case your university doesn't provide you enough choices on electives then you can also try some online courses on edX and other websites. Okay, so whatever I've discussed so far assumes that you know your research area of interest. But what if you don't know that, you don't know your research interests, but you know that you want to do a PhD and you want to have an academic career. Then I have two solutions to this problem. The first solution is to find your research interests. 
you can become a research assistant to some professor and it will provide you a direction on what are the literature gaps in that area that professor is working on and uh, which topics in the literature gap are gaining more attention recently and how to do research and accordingly once you find that out you can apply for a phd at a university where there is a professor who is working on that topic the second solution is the opposite you choose your topic based on the university you are applying to so you be open to everything and all topics and then you find out who are professors in that university are looking for phd students then you look at what kind of work they have done in the past what are the kind of projects they are working on currently and then you write a research proposal according to a topic that those professors are working on currently so you can you can look at the past research of those professors on their university uh, web page or their personal website or their google scholar profiles few subscribers have messaged me to ask how did i choose my phd topic and uh, honestly i chose the last option i just discussed i was open to everything i even mentioned that in my phd interview that i don't know my research interests but i know i want to do a phd and i am open to working in all areas and uh, once i joined my phd during my coursework i became a research assistant to one of the professors here and eventually i liked working with him i liked working on the research that i was working on with him and i decided to continue working with him and now he's my phd supervisor so basically i did not explore working with other professors and it worked out well for me but it may not work out for other people so you have to take your call depending upon your own preferences and uh, just a general advice for people applying for a phd in india be practical and uh, be open to explore other areas unless you are really fascinated about working on a topic hope this video helps thank you